Hi, I'm Jose from the TGR Foundation at Tiger Woods Charity. Do you ever lose it or just feel out of control with your thoughts and feelings? In today's Dem Unplugged video, I will be showing you how to make a mind jar that represents how our brains react when we have overwhelming thoughts and feelings and how to use a jar as a tool for calming ourselves. Let's get started. You will need a clear container, light corn syrup, water, glitter, and liquid soap. If you would like to seal your container at the end, you can use super glue to seal your lid shut. If you do not have any of these materials, please see the description box for other ingredients you can use or get creative and let us know what worked for you. Step one, fill the jar about 25% with corn syrup. Step two, next add water to the jar so that about 75% of your jar is full. The remaining 25% is for you to add more water or corn syrup as needed at the end. Step three, add your glitter to the jar about one fourth tablespoon or more. Step four, add one drop of liquid soap into your container. Step five, finally, Place the lid on the jar, close the lid, and shake to mix up your ingredients. Observe your jar and watch the glitter slowly fall. At this point, if you would like to add more corn syrup or water, you can. Corn syrup will make the glitter fall more slowly and water will make it fall more quickly. When you are ready, you can seal your lid with super glue. Now imagine the jar is your brain. When you shake up the jar, the glitter swirls everywhere. Thoughts and feelings are spinning around and it's hard to think clearly. We might overreact and make bad choices. This has to do with how our brain works. If we use our hand to represent our brains, the amygdala, also called the animal brain, is the part of our brain that is very reactive. It keeps us safe, but sometimes, when we have strong emotions, it keeps us from thinking clearly. Luckily, we have the prefrontal cortex, also called the thinking brain, which tries to keep it down and under control. This part helps us make good choices, pay attention, and learn. When we notice ourselves losing it, we can pause and take a few deep breaths. This allows the prefrontal cortex to connect to and regulate the amygdala. The mind calms down, all the sparkles flow to the bottom. We're more ourselves and are ready to handle the moment with more calm and care. We can make better choices. Next time, when you're going through an intense moment, feeling very angry, sad, or stressed, you can pause, shake your mind jar, take some deep breaths, and just observe your thoughts and emotions settle. Thank you for tuning in to today's Dem Unplugged video. Please share your mind jars and how you're using them by tagging us on social media. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.